Hey, it's Kate. Today we are talking about drum roll, how to get guys to like you and not screw it up. No, we're not cooking love potions and learning how to cast spells here. The train to Hogwarts school leaves from the platform on the other side. We are taking the train to a more attractive and likable me land. So hop on and bring your friend along. There's no stopping us now, girls. And our next station is not to be perfect. Yeah, I know it may sound strange given what I just said, but hear me out first. Appearance is important, there's no arguing with that, but cultural standards of what is beautiful and attractive seem to be always shifting. So there's no need bothering about how to always fit those standards, right? Instead, the latest studies have shown that people find the average features the most attractive. So if you don't have any standout features and consider yourself to be average, have no fear! Your prince will definitely come to save you anyway. But if you still want to make sure you look your best, I think I know a girl who can help. What? Don't look at me. Sure, striving for something better is always good, but for most guys out there, trying to be better than the others will seem arrogant and fake. And fair enough. So if you're talking to someone, don't act like you're the Queen of England personified and has just come out of Buckingham Palace looking brilliant. Just act like yourself. You can be silly and funny and dreamy and why not? That's what makes you interesting. <laughs> I bet your crush really wants to hear about all those scientific facts you learned last night. Nope. Try to relax when you're talking to him. Tell him about what you truly like, even though you might think it's stupid. I like to remove dark spots from other people's skin. <coughs> Don't try to get everyone on this planet to like you. There will always be people who are not so fond of you. And that's cool. Ah, get out! Changing yourself for the guys who just don't like you for who you are is not worth it. So don't waste your time and effort trying to fit in and prove that you're someone you are clearly not. Don't be afraid to stand out as a person. There is so much more to you than you might even think. Stay true to yourself. I know how hard it is to listen to yourself with the constant social noise and people always telling you what to do and think. So get yourself a diary. It will help you get an outside perspective on the things you do right and things you do wrong. It will also help you not to buy into modern stereotypes and find a way to break the rules. <laughs> like how to text him first, for example. Yeah, it's gonna be hard, but trust me, if you wanna get a guy to like you, don't be shy and just reach out to him. Don't go too far though. The next thing is to love yourself no matter what. Sometimes we just screw things up and that's just how it is. Just go out there and live your life. Do your thing and don't be too harsh on yourself. Lizzie is bad. Lizzie is ugly. Lizzie is stupid. So our flaws and how we deal with them is really what makes us who we are. All different and special. Some of your flaws may not actually be as bad as you think they are. Some of your flaws can even make guys fall for you. Chips. I love it so much. So taking it too seriously is pretty much pointless and will only make your self-esteem go down. And you know, your self-esteem is your guide. You are going where it's going. <laughs> Don't miss a chance to pay yourself a compliment every now and then when you look in the mirror. Remember, angels fly because they take themselves lightly. So, this is it for today. Let me know if my tips helped you become more likable and attractive.
you can do it in the comments down below. I love reading what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this one. See you later!